Welcome to the Class of 2023 Graduation Ceremony for CNIB Guide Dogs. The CNIB Guide Dogs logo features a dog with a handle and harness. An ASL interpreter signs in a separate window. Hello everyone, I'm Ben Mulrooney, proud brand ambassador for CNIB, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to the class of 2023 graduation ceremony for CNIB Guide Dogs. Now, as some of you may already know, today is International Guide Dog Day, and I always look forward to this day because I know it means we're coming together to celebrate life-changing partnerships from coast to coast to coast. Please join me in welcoming John Rafferty, President and CEO of CNIB. Thank you, Ben. Uh, today is International Guide Dog Day, and we're here to celebrate our guide dog graduations from coast to coast to coast. For those of you who are joining us, uh, welcome to the event. Uh, looking forward to spending a bit of time with you in celebration of the amazing teams that were graduating. Recently, CNIB uh, became accredited by the International Guide Dog Federation. Really important milestone for us and our program. Uh, it's about a commitment to global standards of quality um, uh, through, throughout the program, and as we grow, to serve more Canadians, being able to work with our partners in other countries around the world is going to be really important to the success of the program. Now, graduating the guide dogs today, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about all of the amazing people that make this happen, uh, from our puppy raisers to our puppy raising supervisors, our guide dog trainers, guide dog mobility instructors, and all of the amazing people that help support them and all of the amazing donors that allow us to do the work that we do. So on behalf of CNIB, thank you so much for everything you do. Uh, as uh, the recent graduates, uh, congratulations on becoming a part of the fraternity of guide dog users in Canada and welcome to the CNIB family. So uh, back to you, Ben. As a proud CNIB ambassador and supporter, you may have come across a commercial or two featuring Yours truly, talking about the CNIB Guide Dogs Urgent Expansion Campaign. The cost to care for a guide dog from puppyhood to retirement is $50,000. And CNIB covers all expenses at no cost to the individual benefiting from being partnered with a guide dog. Donations keep every part of CNIB Guide Dogs going from helping acquire new puppies to covering the cost of veterinary care, food, harnesses, and toys. Thanks to our generous supporters, CNIB is making remarkable progress on their plans to accelerate the development of a sustainable, full-service guide dog program and give more people the opportunity to be partnered with guide dogs. And now, I'd like to welcome CNIB's Chief Revenue Officer, Gary Nensen. Well, thank you, Ben, and hi, everyone, and congratulations to all of today's graduates. And thank you so much to our incredible puppy raisers and boarders. The life-changing partnerships we're celebrating today wouldn't be possible without the commitment of our generous supporters. Whether it's sponsoring a dog, becoming a monthly donor, supporting the expansion of our canine campus or breeding program, we are so grateful for the ongoing support of our donors and their shared passion for the guide dog program. I'd also like to take this opportunity to recognize some of the very special people and organizations who supported CNIB guide dogs this year, including Dolores Beck, Canadian Tire, the Morning View Foundation, Lloyd and Elaine Burrow, FDC Foundation, Hydro One, Mary and John Crocker, and many more who make our program possible. Thanks again to all of our generous supporters. Now please join me in welcoming CNIB Guide Dogs President, Diane Bergeron. Thanks, Gary. Congratulations to all of our graduates and everyone who has made these remarkable partnerships possible. As President of CNIB Guide Dogs, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of my extraordinary team members. There's 35 incredibly passionate people who make up the CNIB Guide Dogs team, including puppy development trainers, guide dog mobility instructors, guide dog trainers, and operational staff. These people are not just my esteemed colleagues. They're the behind the scenes magicians who support every essential facet of this program and genuinely love what they do from the moment a puppy starts training to the day it's matched with the perfect partner. Their passion goes beyond teaching a guide dog everything it needs to know to start its career. It's about helping Canadians who are blind or who have low vision to build their confidence, independence, and freedom. Thank you for all your hard work over the year, team. Now I'm gonna turn it over to you, Ben. Everyone hopes that our pups in training will go on to become guide dogs, but the reality is not all dogs are meant to be guide dogs. Just like people, dogs have different aptitudes and they're destined for different careers. Our dogs have two other career options if they don't become guide dogs, ambassador dogs 
and buddy dogs. A CNIB ambassador dog is partnered with a staff member or volunteer to promote CNIB guide dogs at community events and raise awareness about the role of guide dogs, whether it's introducing someone to the benefits of guide dogs, making presentations at schools, libraries, and retirement homes, or connecting with individuals who may be interested in sponsoring the program, this dog has an important role to play. Meanwhile, a CNIB buddy dog is partnered with a child or youth who is blind or living with low vision. Whether it's feeding, grooming, or walking this well-trained family pet, a buddy dog provides a child with an opportunity to care for a dog and may make it easier to transition into guide dog partnership in the future. Our buddy dogs may not have been destined to be guide dogs, but make no mistake, their impact on children and their families is profound and life-changing. And now is the moment we've all been waiting for, the graduation of CNIB Guide Dogs Class of 2023. As I announce the names, we will show the photos of the graduates and their dogs. Adam Shaffey is graduating with Henson, who was raised by Laura Fisher, Leader Dogs USA, and generously sponsored by Leader Dogs for the Blind in Michigan. Congratulations, Adam and Henson. Addison Sullivan is graduating with Binny, who was raised by Jackie McKinley and Janice Warren in Ontario. Congratulations, Addie and Binny. Ella Avery is graduating with Georgie, who was raised by Jody Moore and Faye Cummings in Ontario and generously sponsored by Georgian. Congratulations, Ella and Georgie. Ezra Johnson is graduating with Patsy, who was raised by Deborah Williamson and Lori Coyle in Calgary. Congratulations, Ezra and Patsy. Gabriel Zap Alves is graduating with Terry, who was raised by Christine Gibson in Ontario. Congratulations, Gabriel and Terry. Next, our ambassador dog partnership. Valerie Williams and Susan Elsie are graduating with Flanders, who was raised by Claire Bernier in Ontario. Congratulations, Valerie, Susan, and Flanders. And now, our guide dog partnerships. Alison Chilvers is graduating with Rufus, who was raised by Jantine Wigboldis in Australia, Jeff Barr in Ontario, Noreen Weiss in Ontario, and generously sponsored by Penny, Elizabeth, and Christopher Finneran. Congratulations, Alison and Rufus. Blair Young is graduating with Kelly, who was raised by John Kennedy in Ontario. Congratulations, Blair and Kelly. Denise Chamberlain is graduating with Zeke, who was raised by Natalie Edney and Laura Clark in Melbourne, Australia, Catherine Lee in Ontario, and generously sponsored by Jane and Steve Savadit. Congratulations, Denise and Zeke. Lori Ponsford is graduating with Bridget, who was raised by Peter Dillman in Ontario and generously sponsored by Catherine Boot. Congratulations, Lori and Bridget. Lyle Duckert is graduating with Quebec, who was raised by Brooke Oversmith in the U.S. and generously sponsored by Leader Dogs for the Blind in Michigan. Congratulations, Lyle and Quebec. Marissa Hersey Meisner is graduating with Novali, who was raised by William McDonald in the U.S. and Brett Conacher in Ontario and generously sponsored by Leader Dogs for the Blind in Michigan. Congratulations, Marissa and Novali. Penny Harton is graduating with Honor, who was raised by Andrea Jekic in Ontario. Congratulations, Penny and Honor. Ross Adams is graduating with Nala, who was raised by Brent Conacher in Ontario. Congratulations, Ross and Nala. Suzanne Martin is graduating with Lily, who was raised by Maya Packer in Nova Scotia. Congratulations, Suzanne and Lily. Congratulations to all of today's graduates. Clips of the dogs and their partners toss their graduation caps into the air in a jubilant celebration. At this time, I'd like to invite you to hear from some of this year's graduates. Hi, my name is Adam. I'm from Ottawa, Ontario. This is my buddy dog, Henson. He is a golden Labrador retriever. And my favorite thing to do with him is to play with his toys. Hello everyone, my name is Blair Young and I'm from St. John, New Brunswick. I would like to introduce you to my guide dog, Kelly, a female black lab. Kelly and I were matched in Ottawa, May 9th, 2022. And since that time, our relationship has grown, our adventures have increased, my confidence in travel and my f have increased and my fear has decreased. I want to give a big shout out to the staff of CNIB Guide Dogs for everything you have done for me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'd like to give a huge shout out from Kelly and I to all the other graduates. 
Kelly and Blair signing out from our Florida room in Florida. Hi, I'm Lori Ponsford Hayek, and I'm from Victoria, British Columbia, and I'm here with my guide dog, Bridget. She's a yellow lab cross, and we're just sitting on the steps outside. Um, together, we travel, we enjoy going on ferry rides and up and down elevators and escalators. And the most adorable thing is her sitting on my lap. Hi there, this is uh, Marisa Hersey Meisner. I am uh, with my guide dog, Nova Lee. She is a three and a half year old yellow lab and she is a beautiful girl. She has made a huge difference in my life. Uh, we go everywhere from shopping to uh, hiking on Harbor Passage, Rockwood Park. And um, she's been a, I can't, I'm always still amazed at how she gets me around obstacles and around all the people and, um, and so forth in malls and around um, the city and she she's my best friend now she I trust her and have full confidence in her that she is going to guide me and lead me hi my name is Ashley Johnson I live in Alberta come come Ezra claps his hands and signals for his buddy dog Patsy Patsy runs into the shot and walks over to Ezra Ezra gives Patsy a treat and pets her head. And this is my buddy dog, Patsy, and she means so much to me, and I'm so lucky to have her, and she hangs out with my dad while we're camping. Hello, my name's Valerie Williams. And I'm Susan Elsie, Valerie's support. And this is Flanders, an ambassador dog, and we are sitting here in front of Valerie's house in, front in beautiful British Columbia. Flanders is a three-year-old Golden Retriever, Labrador Retriever Cross. He was born in Australia and his birthday was on Remembrance Day. When we take Flanders out for walks, everyone comments on how friendly, calm and gentle of a boy he is. Flanders loves to run around the house with a soft, stuffy toy in his mouth. And every morning I'm woken up by his happy face with a soft, stuffy toy saying time to get up and it's just the best way to start the day. We are here today to celebrate Flanders' graduation. Congratulations, Flanders. Ben Mulroney. It takes two years of hard work and support for puppies to become guide dogs for people who are blind or partially sighted. The partnerships we are celebrating today would be impossible without the committed volunteers who help raise, train, and board these puppies with purpose. These extraordinary volunteers open their homes and their hearts to our pups and are a critical part of the CNIB Guide Dog Program. We cannot thank our puppy raisers enough for volunteering your time and talent to help create these life-changing partnerships. Please welcome Penny Harton. My name is Penny Harton, and I'm here with my new guide dog named Honor and she's a black golden retriever and it's my privilege today to pay on behalf of this year's graduates of the guide dog program to pay tribute to our wonderful puppy raising and boarding volunteers. Your role is so important in helping to prepare the puppies for their future career as a, as a guide dog. There is no question that we wouldn't be able to run the type of program without your support. I've been told, in fact, your role as volunteer puppy raisers and boarders is the only 24 hour a day volunteer program within CNIB. From the time you receive the puppies at about eight weeks old until they go off to formal guiding, guide dog training school when they're about 15 months old, you will have contributed about 10,000 hours of your generous time. There are over 230 puppy raising volunteers and boarders, and there is no way that CNIB would be able to run such a comprehensive program without that support across the country. Your role in preparing the puppies goes so far beyond just providing love and caring for their day-to-day -day needs. 
The training you provide, the socialization, all of the experiences contribute tremendously to their preparation uh, in their future career as a guide dog. Things like ensuring that they develop good, good house manners, at attending, attending work or school with you, going to the shopping mall or restaurants, riding transit, navigating busy city streets. All of those experiences help the future guide dog develop their confidence, and an understanding of the world that they're going to be facing as a working guide dog. Honor is my third guide dog now, and from the time I met all of my three guide dogs, I knew from the very beginning that they'd had wonderful puppy raising support. As a guide dog handler, I really want to say how much we all appreciate the generosity that our puppy raisers and boarders have demonstrated in providing the care and support to our guide dogs. It can't be easy spending over a year with the guide dogs and then letting them go off to school. It must be kind of like when your teenagers go off to school or go off to, go off to a new job. But with the guide dogs, you don't know what their future will be. You don't know if they'll become guide dogs. You don't know how successful they'll be, if they'll become a buddy dog and you don't know if you'll ever have the chance to see them again. So that must be very difficult, and we really appreciate the generosity that you demonstrate in being willing to do that. So on behalf of all of the graduates, I really wanna say how much we appreciate your support and you. Thank you so much. A video montage of CNIB guide dogs in training walking outdoors with their puppy raisers and CNIB guide dogs walking outdoors in harness with their handlers. CNIB logo. Ben Mulroney. Puppy raising and boarding is a rewarding volunteer opportunity filled with unconditional love that changes many lives, including yours. It's something very special to be part of a team of passionate people who care about helping somebody build their confidence, independence, and their freedom. CNIB Guide Dogs is always looking for people who are dedicated to caring for pups during their first year of life and starting them on their journey to becoming guide dogs. Here to tell you more about this enriching opportunity is Puppy Raising Supervisor, Andrea Critch. Hi, I'm Andrea Critch, the Program Lead for Puppy Raising, and today I'm here to talk about the Puppy Raising Experience. And this is Astro, and he is a nine-week-old yellow lab. So. It starts young, it starts right at eight weeks old, and that's when you get this nice itty bitty puppy and you help them to grow and develop into these amazing future guide dogs. Working on things where they're whining, um, it's going with the flow, it's learning to be flexible, but it's really all the important things, you know, house training, crate training. Astro the dog yawns. But we need your help. Uh, we can't do what we do without you, and we're looking for puppy raisers, boarders, um, on any capacity. Uh, we actually do have some new opportunities for puppy raising, so instead of having the full year commitment, you can become a puppy raiser starter. What you'll do in that position is you'll have a puppy from eight weeks till roughly six months, and you'll get to start them. And so that's really where they get socialization, crate training, um, some social manners, walking on leash, but you get to get them started, and then it's only roughly a four month commitment and then they go on to the next person and that person can be a finisher. And what the puppy raiser finisher is, is they take the puppy from six months to the 15 month mark and they really start to fine tune those skills. But you both work together to get the puppy to that finished point. Um, and we're still looking for boarders as well and those are ones where they'll board puppies on weekends. Uh, sometimes it's just before they have to fly on an airplane. Other times it's maybe when someone goes away during the holidays. But we do need your help. And you're wondering, how do I get involved with CNIB Guide Dogs? Well, there's a couple different ways. The first one is you can call our number, 1-800-563-2642, and you can talk to someone that will give you more information. You can also check out our website at cnibguidedogs.ca, and you'll scroll down more towards the bottom of the page, and you'll click on Volunteering with CNIB. And there you'll then, again, it'll bring you to another page, scroll down to the very bottom and click on volunteer application. This way you'll actually go through a list of questions and it will give you a better idea about if this is gonna be a good fit for you. We are recruiting in the following areas. We are looking for Halifax, Nova Scotia. We are looking for the greater Toronto area. So that is uh, Bathurst Street East um, and south of the 407. We are looking in Calgary, Alberta. 
Winnipeg, Manitoba, and we're also looking in Regina, Saskatchewan as well. And if you are in the Kingston, Ontario area, we can use a couple puppy raisers there as well. Even if you just have questions, feel free to reach out to us and you will attend an information session. And during that information session is where you're gonna learn more about the role, what your expectations are gonna be, but you have support from us at all times. Um, in my role as a puppy raising supervisor, we offer you support and we're there to make sure that this is a fun experience because without you, we could not do what we do and you get to help change someone's life. And we just wanna thank you, our volunteers, our donors, Anyone that is interested in helping CNIB Guide Dogs, we appreciate everything you guys do and all your time and love that goes into helping us change lives. Thank you. A video montage of CNIB Guide Dogs in training walking outdoors with their puppy raisers and CNIB Guide Dogs walking outdoors in harness with their handlers. CNIB logo, Ben Mulroney. There are many ways that you can contribute to the success of CNIB Guide Dogs. One of our signature events is our CNIB Pup Crawl. This year's race director, Flanders, is here to tell us more. An animation of a talking dog. Hi everyone, my name is Flanders and I'm your national race director for the fourth CNIB Guide Dogs Pup Crawl. I'm an ambassador dog, which means my job is to promote CNIB Guide Dogs at community events and help raise awareness about the role of guide dogs. I love it. What I don't love is that right now, hundreds of people are waiting for their very own guide dog. That means CNIB Guide Dogs needs all of us to help raise funds for their program so more people who are blind or partially sighted can be that much closer to being matched with their very own guide dog. It's not too late to register for the pup crawl. Registration is now open and you have until May 31st to sign up and complete the virtual five kilometer race. However you choose, it's all up to you. The registration is only $45 with all proceeds raised going towards CNIB guide dogs in communities across Canada. You also have the option to donate or collect pledges and the best part, every dollar you raise will be matched up to $50,000 thanks to our generous friends Mary and John Crocker. This year's pup crawl promises to be our biggest yet. We can't wait for you to join us. For more information or to register for the CNIB guide dogs pup crawl, please visit cnib.ca slash pupcrawl. Ben Mulroney. Well, thank you very much, Flanders. And as we close today's graduation ceremony, here's a short video of some of today's graduates sharing their memories with their new partners. Once again, congratulations to all of the graduates, the puppy raisers, the boarders, the donors, supporters, funders, partners, and of course, the CNIB Guide Dogs team. And thank you to the planning committee for asking me to MC again. It is always my pleasure. Thank you for all joining us today, and we'll see you next year. A photo montage of the proud graduates and their partners out in their communities. Gabriel holds his graduation certificate and pets his buddy dog. The guide dogs sit happily with their partners. We see them at home, out in the park, and walking through the city. Bridget the guide dog leans in for a snuggle. A series of photos featuring smiling graduates with their guide dogs and buddy dogs. Lily poses in her guide dog vest. The CNIB guide dogs logo. Congratulations to our 2023 graduates.